Guess what? We're gonna do it in the cast iron skillet. So, with that being said, we're gonna go right over these ingredients and we're gonna get it, folks. Don't forget all of the ingredients along with the measurements will be down in the description box below, right? But I just wanna show this. Look, this is that Creole kit. Look at this right here. Look at, hey, for those of you guys that got it, look at the size of it. Look, they done made a big one now and it's on steroids. These are a must have. And if you guys don't have it, make sure you get the big size. I like these right here. Now, look, we got Creole kick, onion, garlic, paprika. Then we got flour, right? If you guys been paying attention to me, you know, I always talk about, you know, we got to uh, taste our flour. Cause listen, this is what's gonna make it great also but i got a trick but when we talk about the bread and look we put all of these ingredients inside of that and we taste it now when it comes to this creole kick right here i'm only going to add about half of it because this is only one cup of flour we want to taste it we want to taste the seasoning in the flour once you can taste that and it tastes good to you here you can almost guarantee that your chicken is going to be right now with that being said there's other ingredients we got look this is dill pickle juice we got a little bit of that water you know what we got a little salt and we gonna always have check it out that's that fresh ground pepper now we got buttermilk let me get set up and i'm gonna show you the trick to right here to making it moist delicious and good i'm gonna go ahead and start off like this right we want it to be moist and all of that right so look i got a little buttermilk this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead this is my chicken already been washed cleaned up pat dry and all of that so i'm gonna go ahead and just add this to the bag so after you get it all in the bag right I'm gonna go ahead and take my pickle juice. Now this is dill pickle juice, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in here like this. I'm gonna get my water. We'll just add this. Now, for the buttermilk. You guys are gonna ask me like how much. I'll leave that down in the description box below. But for me, about a half a bag and along with that dill and that water, I'm just gonna pour it in just like this so that it coat nicely. Close it once you got a seal. Now we're just gonna mix it all together. Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna let this uh, get nice and cool, soak in to the uh, meat. We will probably go about two hours. You can go 30 minutes. I've, already, I've been all the way up to like four hours. Hey, overnight will probably be the best, but for us right now, we're just gonna go two hours. It's been about three hours. I went a little longer, right? That's in the refrigerator, I can take it out. Right now we're gonna go ahead and get our, you know, our, our flour together, right? So I'm gonna take some of my Creole kick. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this in here. It looked like I'm gonna sprinkle, I'm putting a lot in here, but listen, you wanna taste it, cause I told you it's all about the breading when it comes to doing something fried that has, you know, when we're making that batter, right? So now I'm gonna add all of the rest of this, like that. Now, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use my whisk, and we're just gonna whisk this around. Look at that, you can see the color. Now for the key part, we're gonna taste it. This is right, right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a couple of pinches of salt. This is that kosher salt, right? And for me, since I don't have my garlic press, this right here got to give me my joy. Now one of the things I like, this is what I look for. When I mix it all up, I wanna see the fresh ground pepper everywhere. Now we give it a little taste again. Ooh wee, I hope you guys can see that color. I just want you to, that way you know that there's some seasoning in there. You know what I mean? If you can see it, you probably can taste it. This right here is fire. I'm gonna go ahead and just start bringing some heat underneath my vegetable. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say that, y'all. I always say veggie, whatever, I sound like Lucy. But anyway, look, we just wanna get this vegetable oil up to, you know, temp. So I'm gonna put it on medium high. You guys are gonna, hey listen, I'm doing it the more formal way. You know what I mean? We gonna check our temp, you know, using the meat thermometer, right? But I know old school granny didn't do that. She said when she knew when it was hot enough, for me, it'll tell you some, you know, telltale sign is when you start to see it shimmer on the top, you know, a few little ripples, then that's hot enough to put it in. So we'll bring this up and now come on back over here. Now, this is for all my new people. Super simple, I'm gonna say it like this. Look, we're gonna take it out of that. We're gonna let it drip dry just a little bit. And then we're gonna drop here and then we're gonna squeeze it, massage it and keep letting it work. And then we're gonna stage over here, real simple. Let's go ahead and get this started. So we just let it drip, then we drop it in right just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put several pieces in here. We we'll probably just do three. I'm gonna use this hand, it's gonna get nasty, so next time I go in this bag, I'm gonna probably use this hand. But right now, we're just gonna take it, move it around like this. 
right? So you guys see that. And this is for all my new people, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't even want to do chicken no more. They say it's too much trouble, not when you can just go and buy it. You know what I mean? I got it. But you know what? We're just keeping it old school. Remember, Soul Food Sunday. Now check this out. You see that right there? You can see some of the, look, you can see where it soaks in and all of that. And this is where it get key. Look, I put it on there like this, and look what I do with my hand. I just take it like this, and I squeeze it. We want it to adhere, folks. Just like that. You want to soak it in? Just like you see. We're not doing no double battering or nothing like that. Right? So we just take it like this. Then we just hit it on the baking sheet just like that. And then we just let it rest. So we just keep repeating this process back and forth. Back and forth. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. Look, I'm not going to bore you guys, but you guys got the gist of it. As my oil is coming up to temp, I'm gonna do the rest of these, let them sit over here, let everything adhere to the chicken. And then after that, we finna fry, folks. This is up to temp. We got 350 degrees. It's probably about about 360 because it kind of like went to 355, but that's cool because look, when we put this inside, it's going to bring the temp down. So I'm going to get myself some tongs. Remember folks, we doing it like grandma used to do. So I'm going to take it like this and I'm going to work away from me. And we're just going to go ahead and put it in just like that. Look at that right there. Hey, even my new cooks, check it out. I know a lot of people are gonna ask me, hey, how long? Listen, everybody's temperature is gonna be different, especially how cold your chicken is. Is it room temperature? How much you put in here? So listen, I'm gonna do it old school. This is what we do. We look at it like this, and we look at the bottom side. You see that right there? This has been, oh man. Look, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it now. But I want you guys to get to just, if you keep it around 350 degrees, 360, this is what it'll look like once you flip it over, right? So you just want it to be about that color right there. And then ultimately, especially for our new, our new folks that's like new to frying chicken, we're just gonna check the internal temp and we're gonna try to get it to be 165 degrees because when it's 165, we know it's cooked. But check that out right there. If that don't say good, I don't know what does. And so you guys just seen how easy it is, you know, to make it. It's easy for me. Listen, I've been making it for a while, right? Hey, I don't want to over talk it. I just want to break right into this. My mouth is already watering. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this one right here because it got my name on it and I'm finna get down. Look, main thing with this chicken coming out of this grease is, look, we gotta make sure it's uh, not too hot. Cheers. Mm. Before I do all that cleanup and all that, I gotta go in one more time. Look at that. Nice. 